Hey guys, and today I'll show you an absolutely insane way of creating topical maps with Notebook Lamp. This is nothing you've ever seen, and this is Topical Maps 2.0, and the way topical maps should be. You can use it for your video production if you're running a YouTube channel, you can use it for your blog or your website, you can use it for create informational materials like courses and lead magnets, and so the applications are almost limitless. So let's get started. So first off, I want to touch upon a few concepts that I think are important. Everybody will say collect keywords from Ahrefs, from Google also ask, from Answer Socrates, cluster them, and here's your topical map. I disagree. Topical maps created that way are very tedious, require a lot of time, there is a lot of duplicate information, and most importantly, keywords are not people. And keywords do get outdated, so things that people were searching for a few years ago are still in the database, may become obsolete. And probably the most important one of all is that everybody is doing topical maps the same exact way. Everybody's just collecting keywords, tons of keywords, and grouping them, clustering them, and you get no advantage whatsoever over your competitors. And there is a much better way. So this is going to be Topical Maps 2.0, the way I would approach it in 2026. And we need to start with a niche first. And there is a sub niche called manifesting your SP, SP being specific person. So if you want to attract a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or a husband or a partner, you use very specific manifestation techniques to materialize it, to make it happen. So once you've gotten your niche, and I would suggest you niche down as deep as you can, then you need to start with collecting your PPs <laughs> or your pain points. So that's pain points. And one of my favorite things to do when it comes to pain points is use Genspark. So let's go to Genspark. Let's go to its deep research feature. And I'm sure you can come up with an elaborate prompt, very detailed prompts. I'll just do something very simple like, so use Reddit MCP and Genspark is one of the only ones who can use Reddit to its full advantage to give me an ultimate view of all the questions, problems, and pain points around manifesting a specific person. End of 2025, data only. So I am interested in output as a comprehensive list. So let's see what happens. So Genspark is saying, I will conduct a comprehensive research on Reddit to gather all the questions, problems, and pain points around manifesting a specific person with the most current information available. Now let me crawl the most relevant Reddit threads. For some reason, I always like double checking. And since I know the niche pretty well, I can tell you right now that these are highly relevant threads. Neville Goddard, manifesting, SP, manifestation. So these are the top Reddit subreddits that Genspark is analyzing. Now, while while we're getting the pain points from Reddit, there is another amazing alternative source and I'll be using two of my own tools that are available to my school community. But guys, this is my own APIs. This is my own backends and know-how. You can do this too. <laughs> I'm using uh, Base44. You can parse these comments manually. It's not difficult. I've just done this to expedite the process, but you can do this manually 100%. So it's a two-step process. First, I'm using my YouTube scraper, which can fetch the videos, the URLs from the either the channel or the playlist. Or what you can do, which I like even better in some of the use cases, is go for the keyword a manifest SP and let's go this year. And I'll do less 20 because this is how they are going to be appearing on the first page. So I'm not interested in the videos that nobody is watching right now. And you can see the view count. Stop manifesting your SP. You're being scammed. If you can not stop thinking about your manifestation or SP, watch this. How to manifest your SP to love you forever. Manifest a phone call from your SP. So these are all highly relevant videos. You can check them, obviously, like this one. Oh my God. <laughs> this was posted three days ago and... There is like 16k views on this with sub 2000 subscribers talking about a fun niche. Now what you would do, you would copy each of these URLs and here we can go up to 10, which we'll do. It's going to take a little bit of time. And now what this tool does is going to start the analysis and it's going to look at the pain points at the questions. It will even suggest some lead magnets as well, but we don't need that right now. Okay, so we've got our research. Major problems and challenges, technical manifestation failures, circumstance obstacles, pain points, 
advanced pain points, solutions and breaking points. Okay. And for now, we can just save this or we can just export as a PDF, which is going to be handy. And while we are in a notebook, let's create one. Let's add a source, which is going to be a file in our case. And just look at that. You have main questions, you have almost 200 of those. You have main pain points. You can export all and you even get ideas. So the, the five minute manifestation detox, unlock your heart, instant connection, manifestation mastery. And I don't think I'll be using the transactional keywords, so I'll just explore the main questions and the main pain points. So let me add everything into here, pain points and questions. Now, if you want this to be SEO or you still believe in the keywords, I'm pretty sure there are some of you that do. You can use um, any number of free tools. You can go to the keywordtool.io, for example, base alphabet. Okay, there's 129 questions and you can easily export those mm -hmm. and add them as a source. So a CSV doesn't work with notebook alarm. Let's see if we can export this to a PDF. You can also go to my source gap method, which is a course on how to rank in 24 to 48 hours. I'm still running a hefty 50% off discount. You can read the testimonials. You can watch the case studies three here and four at the bottom, but I want to bring your attention to the free keyword tool section. You can use this for distinct keyword research tools, 100% free. You can use those as well, but I digress. And right now we have four sources, the pain points from YouTube, questions from YouTube, pain points from Reddit, and questions from the keyword tool. Now let's wait for these to upload and we'll move on to the next step, which is creating a map. Now, as you can see, all the sources have been uploaded and taken by Notebook LM, taken in, I mean. And now you have a few choices. You can generate a mind map and let's take a look. This is the SP manifestation. You have core concepts, which is definitions, law of assumption, law of attraction, self-concept, breach of incidents, you have identity and state, living in the end, self-worth, embodying the desired self, vibrational alignment, you have techniques and methods, mental practice, visualizations, sets, affirmations, you have practical applications, you have ethical and spiritual questions you need to cover, like moral dilemmas and spiritual growth, desired outcomes, relationship goals, personal evolution, you have external factors as well. And you can definitely use this to your advantage as far as creating topical maps. But I want to try something else together with this. I want to run this prompt. Analyze your input. Generate four tier topical hierarchy. Tier zero topic. Tier one, five, ten major content pillars. Tier two sub pillars under each pillar. Tier three atomic content pieces. Four interconnection map. And for each piece, I want the title, the primary keyword, the secondary keyword formats, intent, blah, blah, blah. So let's try that. And just like that, you've got an amazing, amazing topical map. This is your core topic, manifesting love and specific person, your tier one and two, the, me the mechanism of manifestation, subpillar A, B, C, navigating the 3D, subpillar A, B, C, tier three, quick wins, top five to create first. So this is very robust, very actionable. Now there is an extra step and I suggest you take it. This goes in line with my role playing prompt. So if you want to use just that prompt, again, it's in the search gap method under the free keyword tools, the role playing keywords. Now we've got a lot of data. So what I want to do now is create a podcast with a very specific purpose. Well, let's go audio overview. Let's choose the deep dive English length long and Create a persona interested in manifestation and SP and act as a professional interviewer performing a deep qualitative interview to uncover additional insights, hidden pain points, and ask an easy, often embarrassing questions. Your goal is to uncover insights, angles, and pain points that everyone is missing. So what we've basically done, we've collected a bunch of data. Now we'll use AI and Notebook LM to recreate a persona, a realistic persona based on all of this. And we will then ask Notebook Lab to act as a, an experienced interviewer. And the goal, as I said, is to uncover additional angles, insights, and pain points that everyone might be missing 
including your direct competition in the niche. And if you've stopped following along for some reason, we've done the pain points collection, we've created a map, then we are creating a persona. Okay, our audio is ready. Welcome back to the deep dive. Today, and this is guys over 30 minutes long. We are uh, wading into a topic that is far more complex and frankly, far more emotionally agonizing than its glossy presentation on social media might suggest. We are taking on the world of manifesting a specific person, or as it's known, SP. And this is a really unique deep dive for us. We're not here to teach techniques or, you know, debate the metaphysics of it all. Our mission is something pretty unprecedented. We've conducted what is essentially a massive, anonymous, qualitative interview. We've processed thousands upon thousands of real-world questions, these late-night fears, and just raw pain points shared across online communities like Reddit. And we've coupled that with high-volume keyword searches to see what people are really asking. Beautiful. So I had to transcribe the audio since it would not upload for some reason after 30 minutes or so. And this is golden, guys. Based on the analysis, so la la la, here are some unique insights and coverage regarding the internal costs and the hidden curriculum of this practice. Number one, the cognitive bias of effort versus surrender. The sources identify a paralyzing paradox termed a cognitive bias. Practitioners are trapped between two contradictory instructions. They must perform techniques which require intense effort, and they are also told to surrender and live in the end, which creates anxiety where users feel they are white knuckling a desire while trying to pretend they don't care. The second one is called the cosmic joke of surrender. Success frequently occurs only after the practitioner has given up, moved on, or met someone new. Secret keeping stress, a unique social struggle because the practice is often viewed by the outside world as creepy, obsessive, and delusional. So this is golden, guys. I will not be reading through all of them, but these are amazing angles, very in-depth, immense understanding of the niche and what people are going through. And yeah, so to sum up what we did, we picked a niche, which in our case was how to manifest a specific person. We collected pain points through Janspark using Reddit, then via my custom tools, mining YouTube comments. Then we've used a free keyword tool to get some keywords as well. We then created a map, a topical map. Then we went on and created a persona and conducted a fake, but very in-depth and very realistic interview. And we were able to extract unique insights you would never have gotten from just the keyword tool alone. So this is golden. Once again, go check out my search gap method. This allows you to rank in 24 to 48 hours. If you want, you can join my school as well, where I have the rapid ranking system, which consists of eight unique proven keyword research methods, Jaspark Academy, where I teach you how to write multimedia articles, local SEO, which teaches you how to create ranking rounds, and the niche hunter course with 20 something free methods of finding profitable niches hope this was helpful and i'll see you soon cheers